Good morning YouTube. Um, it's December and I have just decided to come to Westgate. I want to fish uh, a sand patch that's around to the west of Westgate. Um, so as you can see there, there's Westgate behind me. And I'm coming around to the west towards Apple Bay, but along the promenade and towards the end of the promenade there is a sand patch that's about it starts at about 60 yards so i want to be hitting about 80 yards and i just want to see what comes in to that sand patch so i'm going to give it i've probably got about three hours before the school run so i'm going to give it a go the tide i think i'm two hours off high so the water's in and for once there's no weed everywhere, which is amazing. Because um, this has been uh, full of weed all summer. Uh, the water's actually looking lovely. There's a bit of clarity in there. So um, I'm hoping I'll at least get into something. Um, not fussed what, but let's get there and get set up. Right, so I've made it, I've finally made it here. Um, I am basically by the last set of steps, which you can see there. Oh, there they are. Last set of steps. There's the end of the promenade there at the cliff, and the other side of that is Apple Bay. So there's Westgate. So I'm just going to set up to the left hand side here because I've got this post here. I'll put one rod this side of it, one rod in this short gap. They shouldn't move about too much. So I'm going to get set up and then sh show you the uh, the rigs that I'm going to use. Right. So look, still haven't cleaned these rigs and I've got to clean these rigs. They're a mess. Um, that's gonna be done before my next session. There's a two clip rig that's gonna go out. I'm not gonna put a lead lift on for now. I'm gonna try it without, if I can hit the spot quite accurately, then it shouldn't cause me a problem. All right, these are a bit kink, these snoods, but they're gonna have to do for now. I've got to spend some time to Redo them, put some, sharpen the hooks, clean them up. But again, today, new mark, just experimenting here. A lot of these marks, you, you just don't see any reports from. So you've got to get out and, and give it a go yourself. You get reports on Dungeness, on Hythe, on, on Deal sandwich herm bay but these little marks you don't tend to get reports on um, and if there are fish being caught they're being caught by people that don't want to let you know so you've got to get out and give these spots a go yourself and that's what i'm doing right here we go I, as you can see i have got two rods but we're going to put the first one out and then i'll run through the second rod and what i'm going to do with that so the first one is my sonic gravity ht i don't tend to go anywhere without it i love it um, it's an awesome rod um, and that's paired up with the Shimano um, and that's got braided mainline 18 pound braid a spider wire on there spider wire braid that's the braid I use on all my reels it's really well calibrated braid um, I haven't found any braid better really so um, I always use that then I'm on the Synetic Skyline leader and then on the business end, as you can see it hanging there, can't get that close because it's hanging over the water. But what I've got is a two-hook clip rig that really does need uh, some fresh snoods and some sharpened hooks. Um, being a bit lazy, but hopefully it'll work. And I've got a 150 gripper on there because I don't want any movement out there. If I hit the sand patch, I want to be staying on the sand patch. So there we go. Let's get this out. So 
I've got the first one set up um, and then what I'm going to do now is set the second one up and I'll run through what I'm going to do with that which is a little bit different um, just to see if, what's about so let's get this set up right so what I'm going to do what I'm going to put on this rod is a two hook Avis boom rig um, little floaty beads and fluoro hooks and I'm going to go for a little small species see, if, see what's around down by the wall or I'll try it out in different spots to see what I'll get so I'm going to clip that up now alright so this is what I'm going to put on this rig for a start I'm going to put a tiny got about an inch long section of uh, of worm just thread that around that hook like so just that's over the knot now I'm going to tip that up off with a tiny bit of fish mackerel like so and just pull the float stop down to the bottom and as like all my other rigs the links up the top for this how I build it very quick and easy rig here we go and I'm going to do the same with the top snood top hook now to start this off all I'm going to do with this rig is drop it down here next to the wall see what's around down there there it goes it's not that deep there but and I'm gonna just tuck it behind as you can see I'm gonna tuck it behind here so anything big should take such a small bait I'm not gonna lose the rod so my Avis boom rig is just down the side and what I didn't show you it's on my um, Synetic Capture Compact Extreme I'm hoping it's soft enough to show the smaller bites from any smaller fish and obviously my Sonic is uh, good enough to show the bites from things out of distance but at the moment it's very quiet let's hope we get something Well, it's definitely on clean ground, but no issues bringing that back at all. Doesn't seem to be a lot out there though. Right, let's check this. Well, there's nothing on that, so I'm going to put this out a little bit further. Well, I've been in there an hour. The big rod's been out an hour. Just, I think, three or four minutes short. I haven't really had anything significant at all on it, so I'm really surprised, actually, really surprised that um, not at least whiting or a pouting floating about out there, especially as 80% of this ground's rough ground. Um, got weed, there's loads of crabs, there's loads of prawns, shrimp, everything in here. So I'm surprised nothing's coming in to feed. Hopefully it'll change. I had tiny microscopic vibrations on the little rod, but not even... I wouldn't even class it as a knock. So I think high tides possibly around midday or just after half twelve maybe and then maybe a change on the turn. But it's cold, I'm really cold. Well there's something on the big rod but I think it's crabs. Uh, it's very small crabs. 
at that. Well, it's got even colder, the wind's picked up, so it's bitter now. It's starting to rain, spots of rain coming down. I've been here over two hours, no significant bite at all. So 20 minutes later, I decided to pack up. It was cold, it was wet, but I still wasn't disheartened. Let's have a look at this. The water was a little bit clear for my liking, so I decided to come back couple of days later and see if there was anything else about under slightly different conditions. Just like that, I'm back. 49 hours later um, and it looks a little bit different um, and it does look a bit more promising. So hopefully this time I'll get some bites. Um, dressed for it today it's the same sort of weather as uh, two days ago but um, today there's the wind I think a couple of days ago the wind was coming from the west so I was getting shielded from it a little bit from these cliffs it's a bit more onshore now so um, there's a little bit of a chop and if I show you there's a lot more color in the water there's a bit of weed floating around but I'm not too fussed by that. I think it's just where the the where the tide's flooded over the the chalk ledges and the gullies, and this is just the uh, the loose weed that's down there. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, I was going to do the the same two setups, but there's possibly going to do this uh, a bit of a change. Um, I've got the big one set up again with a two clip rig. That's going to go out to, to the sand patch out there. Um, and with this bit of colour, I might just put a long range rig on and put some uh, a nice clump of worms out there, see if there is a late bass. But anyway, let's get this one out and um, see if we get some fish. Alright, so the bait is still a bit frozen because I only decided to come down here about a couple of hours ago, so I've had it out. But it's uh, still a little bit frozen. And the only difference I've got to the other day is that I'd ran out of the old squid, so I've got a new box of squid. Um, and there was a chap fishing further along. He had no, no bites either, so he gave me his small little lugworm left over. So I've got probably about 15 of those. And... And some fresh squid, but um, I didn't want to change the bait up too much. I wanted to come here with the same just to see what's going on. And also, I've uh, totally redone my rig wallet, put fresh snoods on the rigs that needed it, and fresh hooks. My old hooks are being cleaned off now. In, white vinegar and they get resharpened but hopefully now I do get a bite got a lot better chance of hooking up everything is very frozen So this time on my Synetic Capture Extreme, I've gone for a long range rig. Um, there's a bit of colour in the water, I'm hoping, I don't know, maybe an, a late bass or something around. So long range rig on there, 150 flat lead. And then there we go. You can see we've got worms and squid. Um, and I've gone for half a squid head, because the eye is quite a good attractor if they're 
if they can see it. So let's get that out. So the little one's been out about a minute and I've just started to get a bite on the bigger rod. Let's hope it develops. Yes, we have a bite, a proper bite. There we go. Let's see what's on this then. Come on. I got him. All right, done. There we go. Well, it's better than nothing. Well, I think the coloured water has helped me out a bit now. Here we are, first fish of whiting. Nice one. Um, lovely colours on. You shouldn't turn your nose up at these. Anyway, let's get bait back out. Get some more. Right, so we've rebaited. Let's get this back out. I'll do something a little bit different as well in a minute. deep out there at the moment. Yeah, about four or five foot where I am. Yeah. Right, so I've just had my first fish here, um, a whiting. And if there are whiting about, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change a little bit of my setup on the smaller rod, the Capture Extreme. And hopefully I'll show you why if we get another whiting. So I'm going to just change it up. I'll talk you through it as I do it, and then we'll see what happens. Right, so let's bring this in for a minute. So the first thing I'm going to do on this is put on a gripper lead. Go with the 150. And I'll show you why in a minute. Right then, this is what I've got. I've got my non-return slider. So that is, as you can see, the length of it here. I am gonna put that, well, basically I'll show you. So I am gonna take this rig off here for now, but it's going back in a minute. I'm then gonna clip that clip on there onto the rig clip on my main line and I'm using that because it's too wide for the slider to go over I've then got some of my skyline leader material which I'm going to tie to there like so just using a uni knot done that's on there 
and obviously this is all hoping and anticipating that I get another whiting. So now what I'm going to do is offer the slider up to there, that to the hook to there. I'm going to leave it a little bit longer, cut that. And then I'm going to tie this to the swivel on the top of the rig. All the while I'm listening out for the tone of that braid and the big rod. Right, so now I'm going to tie this again with the union knot. Like so. Right. Now it's very long and I've got to cast this, but I'm only going medium range. Now, what I want to do, so that I don't get plagued on this, is I'm going to put a big, big bait. frozen lug a couple of these little lug which I personally wouldn't dig they're very small I'll get three of them on like that leave the old ones on there goes around the golden I'm actually gonna put another frozen on that I think. And a nice small frozen. Right so that's quite a decent bait on there. Going. Oh, my hands are frozen. There we go. All right, big bait done. Right. So now I'm going to be fishing for a decent sized fish on that, hopefully. So I won't get plagued if whiting do come in in numbers. And then if I do get whiting on the other rod, I'm going to slide it down on the live bait slider. Right. So here's the synthetic rod again, and it's still got the long way rig on it. There you can see it baited up with a large bait. There, there's the top of the rig here. But then, as you can see, just up there, I've got that eye, that uh, link clip, um, so that if I do get a um, white in and I slide it down, the slider won't go past that, and then the hook and the fish won't interfere with the rig. So let's get it out. Oh, and hopefully that's all white in there. Come on. We've got something on here. It, is, it feels quite decent. I wonder what it is. It does feel very decent actually. I don't know if there's weed on it. But I'm getting some kicks on this. So what is this? This is odd. This does not feel like a whiting. So what have I got here? Still kicking. I can feel it. Bit an eel. What have I got here? It's keeping down. Or is it just a very excitable whiting. It is just a 
very excitable whiting. Well, it's a decent size whiting. A bit too big to uh, a bit too big to live bait with. Um, okay. There we are, second fish. So there we are, second fish is a whiting. Still very slow here. I'm getting a this is I'll probably have four bites, missed two and got two now. This is too big to stick down on the live bait slider, but lovely fish. There we are. He's gonna be my dinner though. So that whiting actually was produced by smaller size baits. So uh, again, I haven't got many of these small lug that were given to me. But uh, I'm gonna use them up anyway. So might get another couple. I'd like to get a small whiting, get those live bait. I think the lack of fish have uh, made me go mad. There you are, nice. Come on. It's not often that I'm begging for a small whiting, but I am. Oh, so there's a bite pretty much straight away. There we go. I think there's something on here, I think. Feels decent again unless I've hit something some weed or something there. I think I might have hit some weed. All of a sudden that put a lot of weight on. <laughs> I hope there's a fish on here. I hope it's a little whiting. Oh, it's a weird knock there. And there's a fish. Um, and he can go out as live bait if I can get the hook out. Right. Here we go, right. There we go. Right, let's set this up. There's a whiting, third whiting. Now, here's my life bait slider rig. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pass this circle hook just in front, the fin, the dorsal fin there. like his shoulder, go through and out the other side there like that. Now, I'm gonna take the, this line off of here, bail on off here now. now open, open the live bait slider. Hopefully you can see here, let me see if I can see it. I'm gonna get the line through there and I can twist it, wrap that through there, like so, like so, like so. Clip that back up. Now, I can let that slide down to the sea. As you can see, once he hits the sea, down there, he's on the surface, he will do the work. That whiting now, he's alive, he's swimming. Come on, you were swimming. Swim, mate. There he goes, yeah, come on. I think he's alive. Come on. And there he goes, yeah, he's going, he's going. Right, just gonna ease him down. Ease him down. And then that can go back in here, like so. 
he swims his way down. Now that's a non-return slider, so he cannot come back up the line. He can only go down the line. I'll take this drag off of there. Right, I'm pleased with that. I've got live bait now down on the slider. He's down, I can just see him. He's, he's on the surface, really. I've just tried zooming in, but you can't really see him out there. But he's swimming around. And he's slowly going down the line. That non-return slider can't come back this way. The angle of the uh, of the slider doesn't allow it to come back up the line. So um, that live bait is going down slowly. I'm going to get the other rod out now and see if I can get anything else. Right again, I'm coming now towards high. Oh, what's this? Oh, I think it's saying hooked on it. Yeah, here we go. We've got another fish, possibly. fish on here, let's see. Quite a bit of weed coming through now. Getting caught up. A nice line of weed going through actually. Oh dear. What have we got on here? Oh through the weed. There it is on the surface. Oh We've got a double hook up. We have indeed. We've got a double hook up there. The whiting are in now. There we go. Two whiting. Better than nothing. All right, here we go. Two little wheel. That's slippery. <laughs> Didn't want to go down there. Two uh, little white going back. Come on, mate. Off you go. Go on. Off you go. There you go. They're a bit too small, them ones. They're in on the feed now. I don't know whether it's a change in bait. The small worms, they're running out soon anyway. So, going to have to go back to the frozen. Um, and then we'll soon find out, won't we? My live bait's still bouncing around. You can see the rod bouncing around, so that whiting is doing this job, which is good. If there is any bass about this late stage, which is still getting caught here, there now and again. It's a good size whiting for like a three, four pound bass to golf yeah straight away on this again they definitely come in now they're here in their numbers Let's see if I can wait till I get a good old flat double on there come on Oh, he's definitely got one on here, I think. There is a lot of weed coming through. A lot of weed. Alright. Oh. Don't get snagged. Come on. Oh, now what's that? What's going on here? Oh, snag something right out there at the distance. Or oh, not, I think. Lovely. Bit of weed. Then a lovely clump of weed on the top of the rig, I think. Mm. This is causing issues now. I've lost the fish, I think. Yeah, I lost the fish. 
load of weed, load of weed. There's a lot of weed now. Right, there's so much weed out there where I normally, where I've been casting. I'm going to drop short with this. Just hope I don't snag. I'm going to drop short with that weed, I think. Yeah, I'm just short of that weed. Well, it's been a bit slower closer in. Because I've had to avoid that weed, which big load, load of weeds come through. I think it's gone now, so next cast, I can go a bit further, but just had two big, big knocks. I wonder if it's still there. Come on. There's yeah, something still on it. Yeah, I think it's, might be on there, might be, might be hooked. Come on. Yeah, I think he's on there. Oh, yeah. There's something on there. Possibly. <laughs> Felt heavier than that. And now... Oh, no. no. There is one. There is a fish on there. Oh, I thought I'd eat, lost that. There we go. Now, oh, half decent whiting on there. You don't show a look at the hue on that. Lovely. I don't know if you can make this out. Out there. A lot of weed all the way out there. Well, I'm casting. That will cause me a world of pain. I don't know if you can see it along that way. All the way out there. I'm just about to see all the weed all the way through there. It's everywhere. It could be bringing my session to an abrupt end. Bait up again. Well, as has been the case for most of my recent trips around the Kent coast, it's whiting, whiting, whiting. Right, I'm going to risk one out through the weed. I've just brought the um, live bait rod in. Um, there was quite a bit of weed on the line, so I'm not putting that one back out. Uh, I'm not going to put this one out through the weed, see what happens, because there's nothing happening in close. And then we'll see what happens from there. There's something knocking, but it's very small and tentative. Not what it is. All right, there we go. That looks like whiting on the bait. <laughs> yeah, I think that's whiting. I think I missed it. Let's see if it comes back. Can't get tight on it now because I've opened the gripper. I've opened the legs on the weight, so now I might have to bring that in.
pull it into a snag. That's what I've done. There he is out. Might have lost a hook length there, I think. Oh, there we go, through the weed. Nice lump of weed on there. I think I'm going to call that a day. Right, I think that's probably it. A little weed out there, and I've just lost the hook length, so um, I'm going to call it a day. It's a short session, it's just whiting. But I wanted to come back here just to see if there is fish here. Um, which there is, obviously. Um, and um, I'll probably do it again sometime here. It's comfortable on this uh, platform. Railings in front of you. So, it's not bad. Anyway, till next time, tight lines. Subscribe, please, if you like the videos. It all helps. Um, and uh, see you next time.